the other breaking story this morning, new developments in the unfolding volcano disaster in Hawaii. That's right, new fissures opening up overnight, lava bubbling out of these two new cracks in the ground, and this is all playing out against the backdrop of growing concerns over a potential major new eruption of the Kilauea volcano, an eruption that could happen at any moment. And ABC's Marcy Gonzalez is right there on the Big Island. Marcy, good morning once again. Dan and Adrian, good morning. Volcanoes National Park, where that huge eruption is expected, is still closed indefinitely because that is where the greatest danger would be. But these smaller eruptions we keep seeing are bringing their own risks, and they show no sign of stopping. This morning, that fountain of lava violently gushing from new cracks in the ground. People are starting to panic right now. 17 fissures opening here on Hawaii's Big Island in the past week and a half, many destructively tearing through neighborhoods. This fissure opened up here in a wooded area, so this is nowhere near any homes, but you can see just how dangerous this would be because that lava is spewing 40 feet in the air. It is so powerful, you can feel the vibration from this eruption. One of the major concerns, if it grows or others open, it could block off a major roadway, potentially stranding some residents. Just like the unpredictability of the weather, the lava is even more unpredictable. We are preparing for the worst. We are preparing for mass evacuations. This as the eastern part of this island braces for another kind of unnerving eruption. 20 miles away at the summit of Kilauea, geologists watching for a possible massive steam explosion that could send giant boulders rocketing out of this crater and ash billowing 20,000 feet into the air. That ash and smaller rocks potentially raining down for miles. We all feel scared. Nobody ever seen it happen before, so it's the guessing game is like, are we safe? And another part of that concern is over the air quality because these fissures, of course, are emitting toxic gases. It is a part of the reason the National Guard says more evacuations could be ordered for hundreds, even thousands of more residents. Adrian and Dan. Such a tense situation there, Marcy. Thank you. And those images are incredible, that combination Absolutely. of beauty and lethality. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.